So again, thank you everyone for coming to join me in another uh, content experience where I call, you know, uh, Cape Jewel Riffs, where I look at funny videos, mostly commercials, because I don't think anyone owns the rights to those, or at least they're a lot harder for YouTube ID to ding. And uh, again, in this era of COVID-19, in this era of no new comics, I need to get experimental. I used to love doing riffs and everything back when I worked over at Name Redacted. Matt and I still do the commentaries, but you know, sometimes it's just fun to make fun of stuff. And I got a whole smattering of superhero-themed commercials here. Some are toy commercials, some are just superhero-themed stuff for uh, other products. Uh, again, I haven't watched all of these. I've watched some of these, so this is going to be interesting. So we're going to go through these. We're going to make some jokes. We're going to have a lot of fun. And this first one right here is a 2019 superhero lawyer Super Bowl commercial, The Hammer, whatever the hell that means. I guess let's let's get into it. Oh, it's Low Rent Doctor Doom. Oh, 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 this already looks terrible. Already. Oh, no, what is going on? Uncanny Valley out the ass. Okay, Michael Bay is here now. Through the ages, mankind has suffered at their hands. Okay, low rent Thor. What? I, I'm already confused. What? Who would take on many forms? Okay. In his eternal Shitty Iron Man. All right. Them pay. I am the hammer. Ooh, you got a bad voice for this, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, guys, don't take that small check. You heard him. Time to pay up. This this is a hell of a way to start, guys, I tell ya. This is a hell of a way to start. Yeah, take that, not quite Doctor Doom. Guy looks more like Piccolo from that Dragon Ball Evolution movie. Kentucky Justice! <laughs> Flies away. Isaac and Isaac, personal attorneys. Oh my god, if I ever get in trouble, call me these guys. Oh, uh, oh, they're from Louisville and Lexington. I know a guy who works in Lexington. This is the Asylum Avengers. Holy shit. Oh, I needed that, Isaac and Isaacs. That was a good left. Kentucky Justice and Flies Away. This is Isaac and Isaac Presents The Hammer versus Big Insurance. A Hero Emerges, starring Daryl the Hammer Isaacs. Well, thank you, Daryl, for that Kentucky Justice. Oh, I'm going to be saying that forever now. Oh, man. This is what we call riff proof. That was already funnier than anything. I didn't even need to make fun of that. Kentucky Justice and flies away. That's already the best thing ever. Holy shit. That that had everything in it. Forget Infinity War. This had shitty Doctor Doom Piccolo. It had Michael Bay robot aliens. It had Thor. I think King Arthur was there for a minute. I have no idea. I have no idea what any of that was. That did start off strong, Marvel Knight. You're right. You're absolutely right. Holy shit. Is there a stinger? Is there a post-credit for this? There is no post-credit for this. Oh, well, you know. I mean, that was going to happen. Yeah, check them out, everybody. All right, next we have here 1970s Mega World's Greatest Superhero Line TV Commercial. You know, we, we all remember Migos. Not Migos, but Migos. Mm. All right, let's... Uh, I like superheroes. Yeah. How little has changed. Looking a little pale. <laughs> Not even King of Atlantis. Man, they really undersell poor Arthur there. You know, that, that undersea crime fighter. Uh, he's a king, you know. He does lots of other things. He's not just an undersea crime fighter. Tarzan of the Apes. Tarzan of the Apes, of course. Another beloved comic book character. You know, I believe he was in a few of the crises. Tarzan. No, but seriously, though, you know, Tarzan and the Pulp Heroes, I totally understand, are like the precursors to your traditional superheroes. I just love Tarzan gets put in there. Shazam, now 
Yeah, look, Shazam, back in the 70s, A, back when they could actually, uh, or already back then they had already started calling him Shazam, not Captain Marvel, and that he was so popular, he got his own Mego toy before a lot of other people. Ain't that interesting? Again, yeah, network television. He had a show at the time, and yeah, Captain America. That's good. Hey. I mean, it's nice that they had them even back then. They had three lady ones. Not a hero, but still. Oh, holy shit. They actually had Green Arrow all the way back then. Man, Green Arrow's costume has changed very little from the Errol Flynn thing. I love it. Also, hey, thank you for following uh, Celia Mano 1992. I just saw that. Crime fighter from the forest. The He's not from the forest. He's from an island. The crime fighter from the forest. Yeah, I see why that didn't catch you on. Iron Man, power personified. Yeah, he's got a hell of a face there, Iron Man. Urgh, he's seen some shit. Uh, that's Iron Man, you know, when he was uh, trying to get off the booze and everything there. He's just sweating scotch in that one. I mean, yes, yes he is that great black superhero, but he's more than that. I love that's what they went with, not, you know, Captain America's stalwart ally, not, you know, the Avenger of the Sky, <coughs> that great black superhero. <coughs> yeah, you know, you're actually not wrong, chap, that's the thing, for this time in history, that was pretty progressive, and actually, if I do recall, uh, in the Milestone documentary, the one Kirkman did that was really good. They actually talked to a bunch of black comic creators and say that this was a big watershed moment for them because this was the first time you could get a black superhero action figure. Man, I just love that that's the selling point back in the 70s. What does Falcon do? Oh, he can fly. You know, he's friends with Captain America. He's a black superhero. Let's go with that. Then. Also, Falcon got a toy before, uh, what is it, before Black Panther. Ain't that crazy? Oh, he's strange, all right. <laughs> that that lizard totally looks like one of the Star Trek figures. Totally looks like the Gorn that they repainted. And that fantastic green giant superhero, the Hulk. But not the jolly green giant, that's different. Also, I make a lot of fun of these toys. I bet these are huge collector's items. I bet these are worth so much money now. He sure did, Amazing Spider-Man. And for 1976, the Fantastic Four, the torch, faster than the speed of light. Yeah. The thing, ben Grimm, man of granite. Not looking good at all. Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Girl both <laughs> have the powers of invisibility. No, one has the power of invisibility, the other one is stretchy. What are you on? Love, love these invisibility effects, kids. Look, you can make them go away. Man, it's actually funny to see Conan with all these Marvel characters now to think he would disappear from the Marvel pantheon only to return as he had. Man, everything old is new again. This 70s commercial knew what was up. That doesn't look like Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Viking power against evil. Yeah. Viking power. Gotta love it. Well, that one was alright. Except for a couple moments, but that one was alright. Alright. Like, ah, yes. Yeah, superhero themed parties at Chuck E. Cheese. My parents were never Chuck E. Cheese people. It also probably helped that I lived in the country and there was no Chuck E. Cheese's around. I mean, I'm sure if I was six, this would be dope as hell. Yeah, Ticket Blaster, we're gonna pelt your kids with tickets. They'll love it so much. Oh, look, look right there. Ticket Blaster, uh, reserved for birthday parties only. Birthday cakes sold separately. I ah, gotta read the fine print on this one. A magic ticket worth a thousand tickets. What what is the conversion rate for Chuck E. Cheese tokens and tickets? I don't know. I never had one. 
Yeah, isn't the only Chuck E. Cheese in Oshawa? It absolutely is, J.T. Wizzy. I would drive by it all the time uh, with my dad when he worked down in the city. Yep, that's the one. I passed that one all the time and said, man, that uh, that uh, Chuck E. Cheese in Oshawa, bet it's fun. What's going on in there, I wonder? Yeah. That is a really good slogan, where a kid can be a kid, because it's basically a nothing burger of a slogan, but as a kid you're like, yeah, finally, a place where I can be a kid, that's, that's what I need, man. Too old for it now, if I strolled into a Chuck E. Cheese now, I'm sure I'd get some sideways looks. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese wants it on my mom. <laughs> well, you know, the E stands for entertainment, that's Charles Entertainment Cheese. He just wanted to entertain her. Entertain her all night long, party bug. <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? Good evening, Mr. Stark. Ooh, I kind of remember this one. How may I assist you? Yeah, from uh, Iron Man 1. Aw, Stan. Suit me up? As you wish, sir. It's a pretty goddamn cool set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper, can you imagine, uh, what is it, Iron Man drinking on a Dr. Pepper? He'd probably be like, man, I can't put rum in this. Although he probably likes it because he likes Pepper Potts and Dr. Pepper reminds him of her. Aww. I'm good. Enter for a chance to win Iron Man's gadgets at drpepper.com. Those Iron Man Dr. Pepper cans were admittedly pretty cool. There's no, there's no doubt about that. I'm Hulk and I will oh, Hulk Burger King at Marvel. You know, it's always funny whenever Burger King would get, like, the big movie toy line. I would always think, like, ah, McDonald's turned you down, huh, homeboy? That's basically what it always was. Burger King is always, like, the silver ring, the sloppy seconds. Even though, admittedly, there's a Burger King in my mall, and I do love me a Whopper every so often. I'm so sad. I don't know how to defend my Actually, what I really like is the sourdough one that they only have for a limited time with the onions and the spicy pepper sauce. That's good stuff. <laughs> Me, Ed Norton. Ed Norton want Final Cut. Wow, these are some pretty disappointing toys. You get two versions of the Abomination, three versions of the Hulk. Wasn't a lot going on in that movie. Where's Where's my General Ross figure? That's what I want to know. Where's my Liv Tyler figure? I want a little Liv Tyler that I can look at and remember that she ain't coming. Uh, what is it? Any of the other movies she didn't get invited back. Did they actually, JT Wizzy? Did Burger King spoil Rise of Skywalker in Germany? Damn. That's unfortunate. All six incredible Hulk toys, one per kid's meal. One per kid's meal. What, 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 do you think we got McDonald's money to give more than one? Also, this dad totally had it coming. He was being a real dingus on this one. He deserves to get smacked around by Ed Norton Hulk. That is a cool shot of him walking out of the fire, no doubt about that. Okay, now Iron Man, another one. Oh, no, that was an actual commercial. <laughs> Iron Man also had Burger King toys? I don't even remember this. This must have been for Iron Man 1 when everyone didn't know how big it was going to be. Hey, Ryan, welcome. Yeah, it's Robert Downey Jr., and he's rebuilding his career. You can discover your own power at Burger King with Iron Man toys. Okay, see, here's a much better offering. Look, you get the Mark 1 and 2, you get kind of an Iron Monger. Again, Iron Man had a much better offering from Burger King. Did you have one of them? See, I didn't have any of these. Again, this was... Uh, I, I was well out of my, my, my fast food toy purchasing stage when these movies started coming out. That's true, Tony did eat a Burger King burger. You're absolutely right about that. Man, that was a good piece of product placement for them. I bet they didn't think that one would be as huge as it was. And again, like I joked, uh, you know, the Burger King sponsorship is usually the McDonald's said no sponsorship. But seriously, though, I, I, I do love me a good Whopper every so often, or that Sourdough Bacon King, or the Barbecue Bacon King. Those are actually pretty good. Hey, Burger King, totally sponsored the comic multiverse. I swear it is the Iron Man of comic podcasts, maybe? Toys from the new no, it's more like I'm the Burger King. 
king of comic book podcasts. You know, ultimately underrated. And don't ask for my sides. You just want the sandwich. The sides aren't good. Movie, six in all, one toy in every kid's meal. It's hot as an oven in here. No, I wonder why. Ooh. These are always fun. Batman really is well suited for Lego, what with all the vehicles and everything. Oh, nice. Uh, Captain Cold and Flash themed ones. I like those. I was going to say, Captain Cold's not a Batman villain. Wait, wait, did he just defeat Catwoman by giving her some milk? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Selena Kyle, well-known fan of milk. Super Mighty with new Lego DC Comics superhero sets. Each set really, Robert Downey Jr. is the, is the guy who was the fan of Burger King and helped him put his career back together? Huh. I did not see that coming. Interesting. Also, points to Party Pug, you're right. The Flash does not need a car. It's like those Sonic racing games. It's like he does not need the hat. That he did, JT Wizzy. That he did. Low hanging fruit, but low hanging for a reason. Wait, really? Killer Moth is giving Batman trouble? Seriously? Oh, the Batcopter, complete with the little bubble. Superman also does not need a car, though I do actually kind of like the idea of Bizarro driving a car. Me, I'm Bizarro. Me, I'm do opposite of fly, which means drive car. Hey. Wait, really? So everyone else gets their own corresponding villain, but Wonder Woman gets Doomsday? That's unfair. Why not Cheetah or Silver Swan or even Ares? You know, it could be like a Roman mobile. That'd be fun. That's fine, you can just rebuild them, they're Legos. I never had the patience for Lego. I know I've said that before in another video, but I stand by it. Ooh, what do we got now? Oh! Lone Ranger, another pulp hero, and also a relative to the Green Hornet, who himself is like a bit of a ripoff of the Blue Beetle in name, so there you go. What's he hawking? Oh, he's hawking Aqua Velva? That's why I'm glad there's a skin conditioner in Aqua Velva. Right, Tano? That's right, Kimitubby. Hey. Oh, this takes me back. I like this. Now give me my land back. There was, a, there was actually a really good Mark Russell Lone Ranger series I wrote, or I read not too long ago that was really solid. It was all about, like, land rights and not fencing people in. Also, my dad used Aqua Velva for years. So I respect Aqua Velva. Smell, smells real good. Also, Restream is just telling me I got 100 messages today, so thank you, everyone. Yeah, Dynamite Properties. Now, yeah, it, it was from Dynamite Comics, and I did enjoy it. It's a good one. Check it out. It's like six issues. If you love a good Western book, you'll appreciate it. And again, appreciate the history. Lone Ranger, Masked Hero, Pulp Hero. A lot of DNA that would eventually be taken up by the superhero mantle. Plus, Aqua Velva just smells nice. Again, hey, Aqua Velva, if you want to sponsor the show, please do. It does a lot more than just smell. Away! Don't watch the Johnny Depp movie. Hi. Do you know what this is? Uh, hope. It's the letter S. Also that. And it stands not only for Superman, right. but for a lot of other words as well. Cool. Speed. Yep, got it. Speed, for instance. That's a good one. That's a good word. And sky. It's what you're in right now. And spaceship. I'm gonna guess y'all didn't see Spaceship coming next right after Speed and Sky. Also, is it just me or does Superman sound really low energy in this one? Hey, everyone, we're gonna talk about letters. Last son of Krypton here and everything. Hey. Is that Luthor or Brainiac in there? I can't quite see it. S also stands for C. That it does, which Aquaman is clearly not doing his job if you're there, Superman. <laughs> and sailboat. Fair enough, yes, sailboat, yeah, I'll give you that. And storm. There's, you're having a busy day, Superman. A lot is happening in your world right now. And oh, and oh, I'm learning so much. And sand. 
Also sand. Yes, sir. Don't get it, Neil. It's a very important letter. So the next time you think of Superman, think of the letter S. This is weird for Superman to be advocating for the letter S so hard. Look, everyone, you know, this is bad rap going around the letter S right now, and I'm here, Superman, to really repair its image. It's and th that one just ends abruptly. What do we got here? A very early black and white toy commercial. Oh, Green Hornet, nice. Cool. Again, clearly a bunch of American snack products that we don't have here, and also, you know, stuff from like the 50s or early 60s that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, get your bike badge, kids. It's almost a toy. Almost. Yeah, I don't remember the Seth Rogen movie. Even Seth Rogen doesn't remember that one. All right, here's something from the 70s. Ooh, cool. Oh, yeah. This is pretty sweet, actually. Nice. I can't even make fun. This is legitimately cool as shit. Can I blow up the Wayne Foundation and can I have it come under attack every day like it does in the comics? I think that would be fun. Man, Migo just killing it. All right, what do we got next after that? Ooh, old ray guns. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. Man, this kid's having it really rough. <laughs> That's a flashlight, not a ray. Well, I guess rays of light. Ah, Dick Tracy. Ah, Dick Tracy. <laughs> Did Dick Tracy shoot a lot of ray guns? I only really know the Dick Tracy movie. A gun that shoots a powerful silent ray. Oh, silent rays. Develop a sharp eye and a steady hand. <laughs> you'll need it, children, for the many wars that you'll be fighting in the future. Your score. Sharpshooter, marksman, or expert. Oh, that's actually pretty creative. The buzzer sound. The better you hit, the higher you score. I bet it didn't Only work like that. The target game has this electronic scoreboard. You can hit all the Dick Tracy bad guys as far as 30 feet away. Hit them, son. Hit them right in the face. Target speed yourself. Who said it couldn't be done? <laughs> it's here now. I didn't say it. Tracy electronic target game with special electronic scoring. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done, so we gave this child a gun and let him point it at the screen. What could possibly go wrong? For skill and accuracy, wherever American toys are sold. I'm Dick Tracy, take that prune face. Now I'm prune Tracy, take that dick. Yeah, you get it. I love that Simpsons joke so much. All right, what do we got next after that one? Ooh, Super Sugar Crisp from the 80s. A giant crab stealing our golden crispy Super Sugar Crisp. You, you don't sound too concerned about it, girl. Hey, no, that giant enemy crab. Take him a sugary cereal. Oh, no. Sugar Chris Bear isn't nearly as smooth as I remember him being in his 90s incarnation, where he's like, can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Again, he just seems kind of normal here, too, although he did bulk up pretty hard in between. Super Sugar Crisp cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Forget that regular sugar crisp shit. Get that out of here. You need the super sugar crisp. That's where it's at. It's loaded with protein. Oh, and you get stickers. <laughs> Put them on things. Man, cereal prizes have come a very, very long time. What is this, German? I have no idea what I'm looking at. Something super ice cream, something foreign. Again, if you if you speak this language, please let it be known in the chat. Well, that was forgettable. Okay, more Tarzan. We promise no rhinos were hurt during the making of this. Okay, that's he's very much wrestling a real line. He's doing the full Joe Exotic. 
What what is this selling? Oh, Golden Wonder. Oh, pff, Jungle Fresh Peanuts, apparently. Okay, this one I've seen. This is like in a. What is this like a French Kmart commercial? This this actually looks pretty good. I've seen this one a lot actually. I'm pretty sure this is for Kmart. <laughs> Not today, Penguin. Oh, Zellers, right. They had a lot of Zellers in Canada. Zeller was like a Canadian Kmart. What was Penguin doing there, instead of just skulking? True. I don't know. Oh! This is cool. Oh! Oh, we can create a villain, guys, and go to Hollywood. Okay, what about, uh, what about a guy? He's like Batman, but he's not Batman. He's like a centibite. And he laughs a lot. Could that be the next villain? Could I want a trip to Hollywood? These superheroes and the villain they've created. Look at these no-name nobodies right here. Although that one guy does have mutant shades on. That's pretty fun. This is the 80s, so, you know, it was the style at the time. Second prize. 1,000 win bicycles. Ooh. Everyone who does get superheroes puffy stickers. Ooh, puffy stickers as sold by Burt Ward. I love that Burt Ward still did the voice for all those years. Like, when everyone else was too good for a Burt Ward's like, nah, man, I am Robin. Details on specially marked boxes of Alphabet, Super Sugar Crisp, Honeycomb, and Pebble Cereals. Aw, oh, thanks, Wonder Woman. Paint your villain in the picture provided. Oh. Three different pictures. Don't draw a dick butt, though. I know you think dick butt's a great villain, but we promise it's not. Man, wait till we win! Batman and Robin. Three grand prizes per picture. But most original villains win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids, we're grading you on a curve. Nice. That's fun. I liked it when they did contests like this, even though I'm sure they were all rigged. Ooh, Japanese Spider-Man from the 70s. Which I think you can watch all legally on YouTube now. That time Spider-Man inspired all the Power Rangers and had a giant fighting robot called Leopardon. Which, again, they recanonized in the comics. That is a universe. Oh yeah. That's a pretty cool-ass action figure, though. I totally want Leopardon. <laughs> yeah, the emissary from hell, whatever that means. Hi there. Uh-oh, this looks dangerous. Will they see that car? Oh, this is clearly from the UK. Think I better have a word with those two. Do you... Do you just spend your day, Green Cross, just spying on children to see if they break traffic laws? That wasn't very clever, was it? No. If you'd been looking and listening all the way across, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, this guy got crisis out of existence. You can see why he's not around anymore. That's better. Remember, always use the Green Cross code, because I won't be there when you cross the road. <laughs> and if I am there, you better hope I'm not, because I'm going to whoop your ass for not looking both ways. This guy just takes crossing the street very seriously. Oh, decoder rings. Oh, we're taking this all the way back. And this combination badge and decoder. Man, the Secret Squadron must have really been doing a good job because I have never heard of the Secret Squadron in my life. The first word is watch. Oh. Now, here is the secret code word. Write down these numbers. So I'm guessing it corresponds to letters. Twenty. Now set your secret decoder like this. Oh no, it's like a yeah. A3. Then decode this important clue to next week's adventure. If you don't have your decoder badge, here's how you can get one for your very own. I mean, this was genius marketing for the time. Delicious chocolate flavored Ovaltine. Oh, Ovaltine. For rocket power. Then cut out the wax paper dish that covers the Ovaltine jar. A lot of instructions. Nowadays would be just like, go online, kids. Your address to me, Captain Midnight. <laughs> really? 
Really, his name actually is Cap. Somehow I feel that's not on your uh, birth certificate there, Captain. It's a lie. He's actually, you know, a petty officer. With your very own secret squadron number and 12-page manual, you will be a full-fledged member. Remember, get... I wonder how much money they actually pulled in on these. I'm sure, uh, again, too, I'm sure these are huge collector's items. Yeah, I thought so, too. Isn't he in the JSA, Captain Midnight? <laughs> Somehow I feel it's slightly different. Hmm. More Tarzan. Some people have a harder time getting to work than others. And for Tarzan, people, who is kind of a superhero. Corolla Tercel. Oh boy. Roomy inside at a very affordable price. Help, help. No, no. Tercel, with front wheel drive traction to get you out of those sticky situations. Did you have a good day, Harold? Hell, and it's a jungle out there. I mean, I guess he saved a guy. And he, and he got Look to work with a Toyota chip. Man to help you get super deals at the Toyota Super Stock Tank sale. Thank you, Super Toyota Man. Super Toyota Man. I mean, he didn't have high aspirations. The Justice League still won't call him back, but he's trying. For a cashback deal of God bless him. He's trying. Yeah, more of a George of the Jungle guy. Fly into your nearest Toyota dealer for a super deal now. Cashback incentives end June. Every used car lot has a gimmick, has something, and this one just happened to be superheroes this time. 30. Yeah. Let me get you a super Toyota deal. Thanks. Man, that he must have enjoyed that so much. That was the height of his career right there. Those of you considering the purchase of kryptonite, remember. What? You know what? Ralph Nader? Why is Ralph Nader trying to sell me kryptonite? Today, there are plenty of sleazy retailers out there who will tell you that one type is as good as another. This is a fraudulent claim. Don't be fooled by it. What am I watching? Gold kryptonite I... robs you of your superpowers. <laughs> that is... Ralph Nader knows a lot about kryptonite, apparently. Jeez. If he didn't keep doing his career in politics, he could easily have become a supervillain. If you're Superman. Oh, the Reeves version. Green kryptonite makes you drowsy, inert, and eventually destroys you. Well, we all know that, Nader. Kryptonite. Red kryptonite. Now that's the unpredictable stuff. It could turn you into bizarre forms and shapes. What was this it for? Could turn you into twins or a giant ant. Actual comic artwork and the Macy's Day Superman balloon. Innocent. What was One this for? Was this a commercial for the, the show? Is not properly and clearly labeled. Take your business elsewhere. This is so weird. What was even that? I don't even know. Someone tell me what that was about. Oh, well, something from Japan. Oh. Zespra. Wait, is, is this to stop you from sneezing? Is this a superhero? Is this for fruit jello? Japan. Japan. Why are you so Japan, Japan? Okay. What was what was any of that? I don't I don't understand any of that. Okay. Okay. T Tarzan using copyrighted music, so I better talk over it really loud or else. Okay, Tarzan, a lady pining for Fabio Tarzan, then what? And then what happened? Oh, okay, I, okay, a nun was daydreaming about a big fat abbot and that, and it was for tea. Right, These are getting weird. One, two, I do like these old-timey black and white animations. I, I don't know what mice and Colgate have to do with superheroes. I don't know why any of this is here. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, Mighty Mouse. All right. Oh, no. Tooth Decay is coming quick. Let's jump that punk. <laughs> For most people. Not everyone. You know who you are. Oh, that makes sense, uh, Salil Man. Oh, that does make sense. Now, Mr. Tooth Decay will destroy a tooth. 
I, I like he needs to point to himself and let it be known that he is Mr. Tooth Decay, because you might not know. I didn't know Tooth Decay was just a guy who snuck into my house and rotted my teeth. I thought I did that for my love of candy. Uh, I bet you didn't know RoboCop loves ramen and that RoboCop did ramen commercials, everyone. Those do look like really good noodles. Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> Again, funnier than anything I could come up with. Okay, wh why are they A in Robocop pajamas and why are they at the beach to eat ramen? Like, I love ramen and the beach, but I love them separately, not together. <laughs> Oh, you could actually get a RoboCop like ramen spoon and heater. Oh, and you could get the pajamas. Okay, that's pretty fucking slick, actually. Not, I take it all back. I take it all back. This this was clearly in between when RoboCop would do anything. Next, he's gonna show up on WCW and help Sting defeat the Four Horsemen. Lotham, try the chicken. Hmm. I could go for some Japanese fried chicken. Oh, RoboCop, you're so shiny. Oh. Well, I do love fried chicken and I do love Robocop, so you put them together. Did, did she ask him to move the fridge or did he just do that on his own? Ah, yes. See, that I understand. Alarmo. <laughs> Alarmo alarms me, honestly. <laughs> who who would just walk around like that? Debbie? Installed can he? <laughs> when you say he can, you know, protect my house, you mean he's just gonna stand outside and scare people away? Because no one's gonna want to talk to a man named Alarmo? <laughs> The song class. You seem a little young to be asking that question. I'm not gonna lie, Alarmo's putting out a very bad vibe. Yeah, alarm me, all right. Also, the kids already knew your song. I feel like you slipped all those kids five bucks so they would sing your song, make a better deal of yourself. Alarmo lives to protect your home and family. Well, at least he gets a little animation. That's pretty good. You know, that's that's something. Alarmo's definitely on the West Coast Avengers. Oh, these are cool. That's a weirdly phallic-shaped transmitter. Yeah, you can punch the Hulk, everyone. Oh. In Dracula, and Space Marauder, and Mickey Mouse. You know, all those guys who get along. That's a weird one. What else do we got? Oh, this one I remember. Superhero underoos. This became a big deal because obviously in Civil War, when Tony Stark summons uh, Spider-Man, he calls him underoos, which isn't just a funny thing to say. It's also a reference to this like decades-long relationship between the comic companies and underoos. Oh, shit, finally I can have Pac-Man on my junk like I've always wanted. For the Air Force, Dick Williams. I know what it's like to manage a championship team. Uh-huh. excitement Thanks, and Dick. satisfaction of seeing a team of superstars perform. It must be the same way for the people who manage the this Air Force. This is so 70s. Look at that crushed powder blue suit. working together on a team with a common goal. You can be part Look of that at that mustache. The Air Force will train you in one of over 100 skills. Training that can count towards college credit. And skills uh -huh. that will be useful to you in or out of the service. Uh -huh. Whether you're a man or a woman, whether you qualify to be an officer or an airman, the Air Force probably has a super job for you. Well, that's nice. What's eating you, Superman? <laughs> well, they won't let me play with him. Why not? Aww. See, I'm too good. I know how you feel. Why don't you try the Air Force? Superman's well, looking you really leathery. The Air Force recruiter. I will. I'll do it. But Superman can fly. 
Oh my god, he does look like he's related to Pedro Pascal, no doubt about it. Yeah, wow, you, you totally won with that one. And he can run at super speed, you're right, even when he can't fly, true enough. That is Kingdom Come Superman, just down on his luck and feeling shitty. Oh, this one I remember, the web-swinging Spider-Man. I mean, at least he's shooting webs out of his back like a real spider would. <laughs> oh yeah, just take Spider-Man's arm off and fill him with goo. Oh, those parents were so mad when they had to clean that up later. Webs. <laughs> they really, they really pulled out all the stops for that jingle, didn't they? Webs, webs, Spider-Man. Web, web, Spider-Man. Someone got paid for that. Someone got paid for that, wrote it down, and then a singer actually sung those words. What a, what a jingle. Yeah, more Migos. They had a stranglehold on the industry for a while there, didn't they? All right, what do we got next? The Incredible Hulk meets Captain America. He doesn't look that incredible. Oh, oh, look at that. They they also have webs, but it's flyaway action. We just used the same tech in different toys. You know, flying like Captain America and the Hulk do all the time. Also, when did the Hulk ever look like that with brown pants? He looks like Andre the Giant in Princess Bride. The hell, man. They really thought kids would buy anything, and they were right. Here's another exciting episode of Sanger Harris, Superhero! What is Sanger Harris? Superhero can get messy. Luckily, there are Billy the Kid, Kramer, and Slacks. Oh, it's for pants. Oh. <laughs> Spider-Man throwing bleach on kids. So their pants will be clean. Th thanks, Spider-Man. Shouldn't you be fighting, like, I don't know, Kindred or something? Why, why are you caring about the cleanliness of pants? Ooh. Batman had a candy bar? Oh, it was like a chocolate ice cream sandwich? Okay, so this was 89 and not... I like these international ones. Oh yeah, back when the Hulk wrestled. That was a fun time. Is that really Lou Ferrigno? I think that might actually be Lou Ferrigno. That was the Electric Company Spider-Man, totally. Yeah, remember when Hulk was a luchador, everyone? Won the AAA championship several times? Oh, that was for a phone company. Okay, that was hard to tell. Interesting. Yeah, you remember there was a time there, all those Rice Krispie related break-ins and everything, you know, those Rice Krispie home invasions. I'm glad those got stopped when they did. Man, everyone was a superhero at some point, man. This is some quack pack shit. <laughs> yeah, you can't really be a stealthy burglar when you're stealing Rice Krispies, the snack that is known for snap crackling and popping. Oh, yeah, we got Hulk to do Spanish phone commercials. Oh, you're absolutely right. Super Toyota Man, Alarmo, and Kentucky Justice all come together and form the best worst superhero team ever. Thank you. Whoever you are, as long as There's Snap, Crackle, Pop. It's written on their chests. How do you not know who they are? As evening approaches Toothopolis, so do the Cavity Creeps. Oh, not the Cavity Creeps. They're the worst. This is actually pretty good animation for the time. Yeah, kill those people who are different. For that is the Crest way. And fight the cavity creeps with Crest gel. Tastes great! We promise brushing your teeth is cool. We promise. 
Ah, Japanese McDonald's. With flavors and things that we do not have here. Oh! And so they became Power Rangers to fight Godzilla? Alright. Some kind of burrito cheese pie thing? I'm down for it. Yeah, give me some of that. That's fairly new, too, if it's a uh, I'm loving it. That guy got very angry. Oh my god, it's Rob Liefeld's Levi's commercial. I behaved. I behaved. Oh, yeah. After I, I got a job and they saw that you can make a living out of third, they, you'll hear no... Wow, I forgot these were things. Man, if you ever want a time capsule of how 90s comics was, look at frickin' Rob Liefeld, who had turned himself into such a superstar artist. He got to sell jeans. What does he know about jeans? What does he know about anything? Just that he wears them. That's how popular he was in the pop culture zeitgeist at the time. Let's see him draw some shitty 90s artwork and wear jeans. Yeah, jeans. You don't got to show his feet. Complaints anymore. And you created X-Force? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you created X-Force. I mean, he had a lot of help. But, you know, he's still going to take all the credit for it. So what is the drawing on? This is the Spike Man. And what's this right? Oh, the Spike Man, you know, a character that lived forever. Also, is that supposed to be Spike Lee? Is that the joke? This is the camera on top of your head that will record the wrongdoings of others. So, Rob, have you had any formal art training? No. <laughs> and it shows. No, but admittedly, though, it is pretty cool that the man had such a long career that he did, being absolutely self-taught. Just uh, a lot of imagination, I think. Wait, so, so I say it and then look down? Or just open it and say, fly by. I'm way too close to Rob Liefeld's crotch for my own good in this, really. This is, this took a turn, man. This took a turn. The 90s were weird. They really were. Rob Liefeld in jeans. Barney, you're just fiending for them Cocoa uh, Pebbles. I'm sorry, man. You got a problem. You need to go to rehab. This is getting too much. You got kids. You can't bring this around the kids. Again, I've never had any of the Pebbles cereal because they don't really sell them in Canada. Or if they do, they only sell the one flavor. Alright. Again, another one from Britain. That absorbs redlocks, and through the holes in the stove, gets rid of them, and water can't get in. Again, not having smelly shoes is also my superhero purview. Oh, and they made more than one of these. If your feet can't stand up breathable shoes anymore, switch to Geox. Thanks to their breathable and waterproof membrane, I bet if I was a kid, I would think these were cool. Or just wear Croc sandals, kids, you know. Foot comforter everywhere. Hot, sweaty, sweaty. <laughs> Man, you know, in the 90s, uncomfortable, sweaty shoes was a real problem. It was a real pandemic. Unlike the real pandemics of today. She did lose her feet, didn't she? Okay, I'm not crazy. You mean some of the most over-designed styles. Yeah. I don't want my shoes to breathe. Alright. Again, another kids' feet are smelly, and we need, we need some sort of superhero to save them. Even in Europe, where this apparently was a real problem. Also, animals are involved. Oh, it's the same guy. Just in Italian. Okay. Imagine being the animator that this was your first gig. I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere. Did these guys ever go on to do anything worthwhile? Did they made a sequel to this? Seriously? God, this is a whole cinematic universe of superheroes who help with foot order. Foot odor. That came out weird. This is weird. Everything about this is weird. I just have regular shoes, man. I swear a lot of, you know, advertising and product hawking is just inventing a problem and saying that, you know, you need our thing to fix that problem. A a another one? 
And now there's another sweaty foot themed villain? Really? I joked about this being a cinematic universe, but this is a goddamn cinematic universe. Did they make a TV show out of this? More Skechers. Again, they're creating a whole Sinister Six of villains here. And different types of heroes? Holy crap. Oh, he wrote a skateboard because it was the 90s and that was the cool thing to do. This one goes in between not looking too bad and looking very bad. Yeah. The Tangler is back, slowing down. Again, again the Tangler got a sequel. Holy crap! Dude, it's time for C strap. There are so many of the. I'm running out of jokes because it's just the same thing. Super Z strap is fast. Super Z strap. Hello, Danny. Welcome. We're ripping superhero commercials and superhero themed commercials. Man, Skechers put a lot of time and money into this. I never owned a pair of Skechers. There's trouble at the amusement park. Okay. Oh, oh no! The track is gone. From Skechers, it's time for because a new hero. Because Teletubbies are trying to kill them. Wow, this Here series went on long enough. This series of commercials eventually hit the point of being like, hey, we're not hitting the female market hard enough. We know we need to do something to get girls involved in this, you know, shared Skechers super universe. Because super bungee bands make shoes go on fast and stay on tight. And Skechers look super cute, too. Uh -oh. How very Sailor Moon-esque. Don't let laces slow you down. Look cute, have fun. Skechers. Right, because it's not enough when they're girls' products that they work. They need to also be cute, you see. Well, how many Skechers commercials are there? This is we're goddamn ridiculous. And and the female Skechers hero had her own rogues gallery too. Tell me about it, Amazing Spider-Man. You might as well call this series "I Feel Old." You never have to worry about laces slowing you down again. This is so not happening. Get it? Well, I know I don't have to worry about Skechers. I'm officially too old for them. I don't know anything about shoes anyway. More, more Skechers. Well, at least this guy's not trying to make foot odor a thing. I doubt they did, man, without beer. I doubt it. I mean, I'm sure they did, but it was before the internet when people could just, you know, yell at the void that is Twitter. The future stays bright with Luminators. Oh, glow in the dark Skechers. shoes. That's some pretty cool shit. Uh, more, more Skechers, and they clearly went into the era where it went from, you know, traditional animation to, like, Flash to CG animation. Exactly. Now, now we're riffing on Iron Man. You're absolutely right. This is the era this is at. With real steel springs. Oh man, springy shoes. I could jump so high if I only had springy shoes, not with my regular non-springy shoes. Sneakers from the future have arrived. We're still with these Skechers. Oh my god, this is gonna be half the video. Holy crap. I hate Bosk. Is made from cosmic foam with out of this world oh yeah you gotta love that cosmic foam super cushion running with shock absorbing action you know cosmic foam, foam so much like better than the other foam unleash the power of cosmic foam with sketch x only from the world of sketch we put foam on your shoe something what's never been done before all right everyone so i guess uh that's that uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. I uh, had a lot of fun doing these uh, ones, as I always do. Uh, glad we could do some superhero commercials. Uh, if there's any more kind of like compilations of stuff I should do, let me know and I'll totally do it. I think there's some more like toy commercials and like some more Marvel product centric ones I haven't done that I should probably look into. Someone said do Japanese commercials next. I think that would be a lot of fun too because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of craziness in that. 
Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for coming and joining us. We got almost an hour here. Uh, I'll probably re-upload this on the channel at some point, because again, with that whole Comic Hub news, gonna need some new content in there, and this seems like something fun and easy and long that people can enjoy. So, uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. Thanks for keeping me company. Uh, thanks for all the people who followed and subscribed. And again, any money you donate from here till when the project comes out will be going to Capes and Quest Season 2. That's my D&D show. Would really appreciate it. Want to actually pay for a place to put the show up uh, in audio form so people can download it uh, ad free and also uh, so I can pay the other guys too for showing up and uh, anything after that uh, comes to getting new artwork and getting new merchandise made solely for that so uh, always appreciate it and I will be back again next time everyone bye bye